Uh, but Amanda, the humidity, are you surviving with the humidity? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yesterday was kind of rough and I, you know, but I'm doing okay. It's summer. I love summer. I'm not going to complain about it. Right. We were talking, remember when we had all those snowstorms and we were like, we can't wait for it. Yes. Well, these I'm were the not days. Not complaining. Not complaining here. <laughs> yes. So, and if you're not maybe a fan of the heat, then maybe you'd be thinking of those snowstorms. Just kind of balance it out a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be talking about anything frozen when we have temperatures that are into the upper 80s. We're getting close to 90 degrees for many of us, and the first spot to make it there is Ottawa, and we are only at 1215 in the afternoon. So we are going to be looking at a long afternoon where we do have upper 80s to lower 90s, and a lot of these numbers are going to be matching yesterday, if not even a touch above. You'll find that here in our hour by hour conditions. We're already flirting with 90 degrees, so that means that we will spend a next couple of hours for a few of us at the 9-0, if not a few degrees above. Yesterday at the Toledo Express Airport, we were at 91. I wouldn't be surprised if that number's a little bit higher even for today. Now, if you don't have air conditioning, here's the heads up. We don't have a big cool down overnight. Overnight lows are just going to be around 70 degrees, so you're not going to have a lot of relief to pick up, but at least on Thursday, though it is still going to be warm into the mid 80s, we have a cold front that's going to come in. That's why some of these numbers are a little bit, well, maybe out of those 80s, but that's because we're going to have some rain, but also the cold front is going to make things a little more comfortable because today we are still in that humid category, but this arrow is going to slide down behind that front, but that front's going to take its time moving through. Looking at Doppler radar though, I do want to give you an update here on this before I show you the hour by hour forecast. It looks mainly quiet, but here's just some of those pop-up showers that we have that Southern, Southern Hillsdale County I'm just seeing a few showers. They'll just pick up and then they'll just fizzle out just as fast as they develop. So we'll have a few of those now here that we go into the afternoon and you'll see some of these specks on here, though many of us will make it through the day with dry weather. It's going to be very hit or miss as far as the rain. Thursday's the better chance to be picking up on some water. You're going to find that we have a slight chance in the morning, but it's really into the afternoon. We're talking lunchtime and on that we will have those scattered showers and storms as the cold front that'll be passing through. Heavy downpours are going to be the main threat or concern with these thunderstorms as stronger weather is not expected. Now on our extended forecast, we go from the mid 80s and behind the cold front, it's less humid. Those are nice words we want to see, but then we have low to mid 80s as we go into the weekend and fairly consistent even for next week, though the rain is not. We're going to be on and off. You're going to see some showers, then you're going to see some dry days, and overall you're going to have to have the WTO All 11 weather app to keep an eye on well, is it going to rain today or if it isn't going to rain today with it being back and forth in the forecast? Yeah, but I'm seeing those cooler temperatures. I think people are going to be kind of happy about that. Yes, the 90s and with the humidity, mm -hmm. it's been a while since we felt some heat like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been great not having the humidity, though, I will say. Yeah, so we'll, you know, maybe have to, we can lay off the AC a little bit. Hopefully, in the coming days. It, would not, it would be nice to have free AC and just open up the windows, but even the 80s can still be a little bit yeah. warm. Yeah, for sure. All right, Diane, thank you.